சிவாய நம திருச்சிற்றம்பல வெல்கம் பேக் ஃபார் அவர் திருப்பாட்டு டிஸ்கஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த ஃபினாலே வேர்ஸ் விச் இஸ் த டென்த் வேர்ஸ் நீடு பொக்கை பிறவியை பழித்து நீங்கலாம் என்று மனத்தினை திருட்டி சேடுலாம் பொழில் திருத்தினை நகருள் சிவக்கொழுந்தினை திருவடி இணைத்தாள் நாடலாம் புகழ் நாவலூர் ஆளி நம்பி வந்தொண்டன் ஊரன் உரைத்த பாடலாம் தமிழ் பத்திவை வல்லார் முத்தி ஆவது பரகதி பயனே அஸ் இன் இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் திஸ் இட்ஸ் த ஸ்டேஜஸ் தட் அ சோல் வில் யூஸ்வலி பி கோயிங் த்ரூ இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் திஸ் வர்சஸ் ஓவர் ஹியர் ரைட் ஹீ சேஸ் யூ நோ வாட் திஸ் என்டயர் பாடி த வே ஹவ் த பாடி இஸ் மேட் ஆஃப் இட் இஸ் சோ டெம்பரரி இட் இஸ் சோ இம்பர்மனெண்ட் once we realize that it is impermanent there is something called as dasakaryam dasakaryam is basically 10 steps and in those 10 steps already we are achieving four of it because we will know what do we mean by this tattvam we know how what are the characteristics of the tattvam we will know what is anma which is the soul and we will know what is the uh, characteristics of the soul as well so four sections are already revealed to us once we know that this particular body is impermanent if you look at it we already know it is impermanent but we did we realize that this body is not me are we able to disassociate the soul with this body no right we are always talking about referencing the soul as this physical body itself rather the moment we start disassociating that is the first step first step of realization and once we start realizing it we will start to move away from this attachment that we have towards this body and that is the time we will start to achieve the next three stages in the tasakaryam which is tattva suddhi tattva suddhi anma suddhi and shiva roopam these are all technical terms you have to just remember there's no other option tattva suddhi anma suddhi and uh, anma ru- uh, shiva roopam will start happening because once we know that this physical body is not me it is just a group of tattvams put together in a particular composition that is made up or rather the body is made up out of tattvams once we have that clarity then we will start to divert our mind towards the permanency the permanency is nothing but the uh, the uh, most important uh, aspect of our life which is shiva and you know what shiva is living in this particular place called as tiruttinai nagar and in this particular place called tiruttinai nagar he is called as shiva kolundeesar and nambi aarurar he is explaining his names he says my parents gave the name of aaruran lord shiva when he took me as his slave he gave me a title called as vantondar beyond all these i am also known to be the prince of this particular kingdom and he says that kind of a person nambi aarurar had written the 10 verses and those people who are able to read the 10 verses with a bit of a clarity in and also they understand and they go into a little bit more deeper into that particular padigam they will start achieving realization that is where the last two sections will also start to happen which is shiva yogam and shiva bhogam will start to happen once we are in the path of self realization god will automatically open up the steps for us he will automatically clear all the hurdles and make sure that our journey is very very smooth towards him this is exactly what our finale verse is all about as well and if you look at it in this particular uh, padigam this is written in a pun called as takesi takesi is supposed to be a very very auspicious pun which is usually sung uh, in the uh, morning time usually it is in, it's in the morning stage and uh, they they use this for uh, auspicious occasions this particular pun is used for auspicious occasions not only that if you are able to relate with this when a soul is getting into trouble usually it can get into trouble with three things one is based on nature or with a fellow living beings or third is based on other uh, you know the uh, uh, the so called uh, gods and all these 
or rather uh, demons or devils and uh, god you know it can be a good or a bad energy so it can be based on those three and in this particular padigam the entire padigam he is giving a reference to that he says uh, in in the verse number 3 he gives a clue that there is a possibility that you will be affected with your fellow living beings itself that's why he is using a word called as vadi gol kanniner and in the second verse as well as in the fifth verse he talks about the problems that we can get because of nature this is what we call it is a panjabhutas so it can happen based on panjabhutas the problems can come and that can trouble the soul alternatively it can be because of the other uh, kind of uh, energies it can be angels it can be demons it can be devils whatever it is that is called as adi daiviham and that is referenced in the seventh verse so we are able to see that this holistic padigam talks about what are the possible problems that a soul can go through and at the same time he not only scares us he is also giving us a solution he says you know what you know these are the problems now these are inevitable problems the only way that you can get out of this is just go and surrender yourself confide in lord shiva who is staying at tiruttinai nagar and his name is uh, sivakolundeezer just surrender yourself he will take care of everything else so with that we are concluding uh, verse number 60 or rather uh, padigam 64 in terms of one historical sequences fourth i'll come back again with the next padigam very soon until then sivaya namaste tirchitrambala